Good evening and thanks for joining us from Wuhan, China, the center of the new coronavirus outbreak. China has identified the cause of the mysterious pneumonia outbreak in Wuhan city. The world is scrambling to stop the spread of COVID-19. More than 2,000 people have died. Japan has quarantined a cruise ship carrying more than 3,700 people. Four passengers have died, while the number of people feeling sick is rising fast. Tonight, there are more than 85,000 confirmed cases around the world. Global fears are rising over the coronavirus. In Ukraine, protesters set fires, put up barricades, and threw rocks at a bus carrying newly arrived evacuees from China. Riots over coronavirus broke out in overcrowded detention facilities across Colombia. Italy's death toll has now topped 10,900 uh, dead just today. Queens in New York is the worst infected district in what is now the world's worst infected city. How is it? Hell. Biblical. I kid you not. The Pope prayed in a deserted and rainy St. Peter's Square Friday for an end to what he called an unexpected turbulent storm. We've been hearing about the coronavirus in, in China for about a month. Everybody had kind of been talking about it and everybody had their own opinions about it. This virus, in the same way that it was spreading in reality, it was spreading in the media. One out of every 10 posts on Facebook would be about this coronavirus. Then it got to one out of every five. And then before you knew it, it was every single post. But it was on March 11th, 2020, is when, you know, things really started to pick up. Will came home and got me and he said, we need to go to the grocery store immediately. He was worried that we were gonna be on a lockdown and that there would be no access to food. The place was picked apart like you wouldn't believe. Like canned goods, pastas, that sort of thing were like gone. I mean, that was the moment I realized that this is real. The lines were extremely long all the way down the aisles. People were like in panic mode. You could feel the panic in the room. Home isolate, protect themselves, go about the essential patterns of life, but do so by socially distancing themselves from others and do so uh, using their common sense. But we just got the order to stay inside our homes, all non-essential businesses, order to shut down. My business is essential. Your business is essential. I've been a nurse for 13 years. About a month ago, before this all started, I ended up getting a position in a clinic. So the majority of my time, I'm away from the hospital. But the way that they're setting things up is the people who just recently left the hospital will be the first people to go back into the hospital. It's called surge planning. They have three waves of people and I'm in that first wave. The idea of going back into the hospital is so frightening. But how did we get here where healthcare workers have to fight for PPE so they can fight the virus without getting infected themselves? Every day when I go to work, I feel like a sheep going to slaughter. When the quarantine started, you would see a lot of people who were quarantined together, couples, families, roommates, but it was this idea of like, you're with the person that you're quarantined. So at the beginning of this thing, we just kind of made the decision that if one of us gets sick, then we're both gonna end up getting sick. But knowing that there was a possibility that she could be called back from the clinic into the hospital, there's a great chance that she will be exposed. But the only thing we can do is pray.